And I, Santi, hockey dad convicted in a brutal cold case murder will be sentenced in court tomorrow. Tonight, we're getting a look at the evidence that led the jury to find Jerry Westrom guilty of the 1993 murder of Jeannie Childs in Minneapolis. The jury foreperson told WCCO's Jennifer Merrily about the three things that made a lasting impact on jurors. These are the boxes of evidence presented in court that the jury saw, including the napkin Jerry Westrom threw away at a hockey game. It's our first look inside the gruesome crime scene, the Minneapolis apartment where Jerry Westrom murdered Jeannie Childs decades ago, stabbing her 65 times. He would have had to chase her around the apartment, stabbing her multiple times over and over again. He really wanted her to die. Connecting Westrom to the murder started with a hit on a genealogy website, linking his DNA to DNA collected in 1993 at the crime scene. It's a story. It's fascinating. But investigators needed more, so they tracked him to a hockey game in Wisconsin, watched and waited for Westrom to throw this napkin away in this cardboard tray to collect his DNA. Listening to that testimony in court, it's incredibly gripping stuff. Dirk Fradenberg accepted the role of jury foreperson. For that to be the thing that brought him down, I guess, is really just incredible. Investigators used that match to arrest Westrom and to build their case. His DNA found on the comforter, a bloody bathroom towel, washcloth, a t-shirt, and in the sink. And then there's the bloody footprint. Even the most charitable reading is that one of the footprints was for sure his. Fradenberg says there's no way to explain away the footprint. It confirmed Westrom's guilt for the jury. It's not a, a shoe impression or anything like that. It's his bare footprint. And our feet have the same sort of ridges and whirls and everything that our palms and fingers do. Prosecutors then played Westrom's 2019 interview with police. Does this look familiar to you at all? Have you ever been in those buildings? Not to remember. No. It's the only time jurors heard from Westrom while on trial, denying he knew Childs and what happened inside the Minneapolis apartment. Now, this is a long time ago. Are you sure on those answers? I, uh, I, I haven't. Yeah, I... Just a guy didn't have a whole lot to say, but what he had to say, I, I know they were lying. Is that what it boiled down to was the police interview, mm -hmm. the DNA, and the bloody footprint? Yeah, if those, those three things. He said he wasn't there. His DNA proves that he was there. His foot puts him there. His footprint puts him there at the time of the murder. He says he feels for child's family, saying no one deserves to die that way. That's why it matters that this came up 30 years later. It was so brutal. It's so graphic. You can't just let this go. Fradenberg says all of this evidence resulted in a guilty verdict reached by the jury in two hours. Jerry Westrom will be sentenced on Friday morning. In Minneapolis, Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Stay with WCCO for coverage of Westrom sentencing. We will have a camera in the courtroom tomorrow morning. You can watch Westrom's full interview with the police at WCCO.com.